Alright, so hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would do something a bit different. I wanted to show you how to customize or make your car faster and generally modify it. So, first of all, to show you that, we're just gonna load into Grim Map because it's like a simple map where I can show you how everything works. All right, so we loaded in. This is my personal build of the Vivas. Um, it's a pretty standard build. Um, I did some things to it, if you can tell, but yeah. I think it's it's pretty noticeable, especially the color. Um, I changed it a little bit, so it was like better looking. I'm just gonna spawn in a stock Vivas, and I'm gonna spawn in this one because I know for a fact that this one has quite a few modifications you can do to it so yeah if you wanna start to modify your car you just you just wanna press Control w on your keyboard or you can just press the escape key and vehicle config so from here you're just gonna click on body and scroll down a bit until you find the engine tab so let's say you just wanna I don't know make make it a bit more powerful so what you're going to do is just uh, click on this engine tab and find the engine management and this particular car has many ECU um, stages and options this one has for example the C270 ECU and I'm just gonna accelerate up to 100 kilometers per hour or if you calculate distances using uh, elephant feet 0 to 60 so yeah I'm just gonna launch the car and show you the time Alright, so we've got a 6.02, so that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, we're just gonna change the ECU option, and we're gonna go into the engine tab, and then, and then I guess we're gonna use the 310 stage one. I'm gonna leave the stability control on uh, comfort just because it minimizes wheel spin so we have a more accurate time so I'm gonna launch this one so as you can see uh, by just changing the ECU we shaved off 0.3 of a second which is frankly quite good and now we're gonna go through the other options you have so we're gonna see what uh, other differences uh, the mods can do for example we just gonna I guess change the front diff and uh, I guess change the turbocharger from a stock one to a stage three not every car is gonna have the same modifications so some are gonna have more some are gonna have less but that's just how the game is uh, we're gonna change it to a race oil pan so we're gonna see what difference this makes so as you could see we didn't shave off that much I don't know if you could tell but the stability control was cutting our power quite heavily and this is just because of the front wheel drive car that we're driving right now so it's kind of like bottlenecked we could try to switch to sports mode but that's so yeah as you can see it just keeps on cutting the power we're just gonna lose traction and we're gonna have a slower time um, so that's it for the basics uh, of the engine you can also change the transfer case but you've got to change some other stuff if you don't want to be very slow because you're gonna have some issues with powertrain and um, loss of power by using a all-wheel drive powertrain on a front-wheel drive car so that's gonna be a problem that's it for the engine tab you can also put a NOS but I guess that's not really what you want to do 
on a road car or just a car you're trying to make a little bit faster of course you could just boost it with some NAS and you could just put on like a 200 kilowatt shot size but that's just gonna like make the car completely explode uh, oops I forgot to turn it on so yeah it made the car explode just because just because it couldn't sustain that much power so yeah we're just gonna change it to however it was and just not even think about it yeah what you want to do if um, you have like a similar car like a four-seater five-seater you're just gonna go on to the uh, you're just gonna go onto the passenger seats or the rear seats actually and just completely remove them if you want to be like extreme you could also remove the passenger seat but it looks kind of stupid like this so yeah other things you could do are also put in a lightweight interior but I just think uh, this ruins the car a bit it just it has no display and it just looks kind of odd so yeah next you just want to go on to the roof options and if you want to have like the lightest car possible so you can uh, accelerate quicker or just be quicker on bends or more stable you could just put on the carbon fiber roof I like it in black but you could also do the body colored option so yeah I guess I don't know I don't know how I feel about the yellow car with the black roof but usually I prefer it to the body colored option uh, so this is gonna make your car a little bit lighter and also more maneuverable and next you're just gonna go into the tailgate option and usually there is a carbon fiber option right here so it's the alternate one so we're gonna we're also gonna select it here so you can't tell the difference but it's actually lighter so we're gonna go on to the uh, hood next and this one also has a carbon fiber option most of the time so that's just the Vivas hood so we're gonna put this one on and it made the car lighter you could also remove the trunk floor just cause it's a mod that you can even see like who's gonna go under here it's just poor quality textures um, yeah so what you want to do next if you really want to be extreme you could go onto every single glass part and put on a lightweight uh, glass so for example reacquire glass you could just change that uh, if you change that it's going to make a difference it's just not gonna be really noticeable I guess so yeah if you wanna really be extreme you can do that and next if you wanna build a fast car you wanna put on the chassis stiffening and this will just make the car a bit more sporty and stiff and just race car like so that's pretty cool and I guess that's pretty much it for the how to make your car faster alright so this is editing beam and stuff of course I forgot to record an outro so I'm gonna record it right now I hope you liked the video drop a like and a sub if you did and of course as I said I hope you learned something from it and yeah goodbye